good, Scooter, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. As we know, the lead attorney was recently on the Corey Holcomb show. It was an awesome podcast. I was in the live stream for a little bit. Shout out to Corey Holcomb and the lead attorney for making that happen. But there were certain things uh, expressed in the podcast that I thought it was a very good information for black men. You know, uh, Corey Holcomb is very um, male focused in his content. He's not really a man of very creator, but because of his life experience, he has little trust in the systems of marriages and divorces and things like that. And he's a very adamant about that um, situation. Right. I want to discuss some things about Corey Holcomb and his discussion about these dirty secrets that happen between mixed blended families. All right. I want you to hear it. It is shocking, but I also want you to hear what Corey Holcomb is going to say about his experience about dating a single mom. Let's play that clip. Although I will say this, and, and, and this is kind of a dirty little secret that a lot of divorce attorneys know when you have, I want to hear two, this when you have two parents, and each parent has, you know, a couple kids, some kids. When they get married, it's called a blended family, right? Wait, say that again. I'm sorry, I missed it. Okay, so you got a mother, and the mother got two kids, and she meets this guy, and the guy has, you know, a couple kids. Brady Bunch. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So they get married, and it's called a blended family. Ugh. Kids in there be. They are always stepbrothers and stepsisters. They all the time once they meet, reach puberty. All the time. Mm, mm, no mm, one mm. ever talks about it. Right, because you're bringing every, strangers uh, every, around each other. Yes, when they hit puberty, that are that age, these right? step brothers and sisters are- Did you are hear what brother said? Uh, the brother said, listen, if you bring your kids into a relationship with her kids, y'all ain't the only one in the house. <laughs> oh, no. Well, he's always brought up the whole point too, uh, uh, the scenario of the older, so-called now we can't say step i guess but daughters where women bring older daughters in the household with them with a man a grown man do you think that it's abnormal he's always talked about that if, uh if it's not your daughter and you know you feel something for the girl that's in the house it's not love it's meat in the house it is. like is that a is that is that is that a man who is crazy or is that a man who is honest? Because you don't need it's meat. An now honest, see, crazy your, man. your biological daughter, I believe it is normal to be around your biological daughter and not ever look at her like meat. Right. 100%. Right. That's the same yeah, person. Right. But if it is your stepdaughter, even if you <clears throat> won't sleep with her because you have morality to you, you be like, look, it's things you can do to earn your way around. Oh, here we go. <laughs> is, that, is that not <laughs> I'm saying, Like, everybody wants to lie. He's earn talking about overage. He's talking Don't about overage. Don't be like your mama. Uh. Be an independent one. <laughs> I'm saying, it's like, the, I mean, it's, it's it's true. That's another thing, you know. If you want to come in on the whole stepfather thing, and it's a 14 year old boy, 15 year old boy, 16 year old boy, that's one thing. If it's a 16 year old girl, she got titties, you know. I mean, this is a child. Yeah. But you're a man, it's and a you're not going to do anything. But yeah, no, you know. you're not going to do nothing because right. you, if you are mentally right, you know you can't them. Yeah. Right. If you're mentally right. But There's a lot of people yeah. who are not mentally right. Right. Well, and, and to go further, it's a lot of kids that aren't mentally right. Right. And Talk a lot of 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds want to, you know, they, you know, mothers and daughters always got that thing going on. And a 16-year-old might, might want to cause a little chaos. Oh, right? brother, I moved Listen. in with this lady. And her 14-year-old daughter was trying to give me that. It's just, I ain't, I ain't that dude. I was yeah. shocked once I confirmed it. Yeah. Yeah. Because one day we shocked? was all in the room, and then, um, you know, they, they kids. Right. So, and I was cool with them at the time. When I did not f that little girl, that little girl tried to sabotage my relationship with her mother. 
Yes. And that's not yeah, that's, that's not even the skit. So there's been some scary scenarios that I've heard. Real shit. Yeah, I no, wouldn't I lie on that girl. That girl. I was like, oh my god. I up and I told her mother. That was the right know, thing. Your mother. I said. I told her. I said. You know your daughter. She she tried to make a move on me, like, cause we was all in the room, yeah. and they one day they jumped in the bed, cause the, the two little ones was just playing with me, like, ah, yeah. Corey. But the other one did this. She threw the on me and did oh, this, shit. and I said, oh, oh shit, no. what the <laughs> was that? <laughs> and I told her mother, and her mother, you know, the first thing her mother said, so do you like her? I was like, oh, oh wow. She was like, going to offer her that's daughter. Like daughter. That's exactly. That sounds like something a, a woman would say. I that's mean, exactly I'm saying right. I'm not making this up. It's, this exactly is my life right, right here. I wouldn't make yes. this up. The first thing her wow. mother did, she didn't say nothing like I thought she would say first. Right. She said, do you like her? But and I'm, I was like, oh, my God, I'm in trouble here. Yeah. So, guys, you, you've heard that story. I am just as shocked as you are. But man, I'm not really shocked at all. And let me just say this. We all hear about, you know, men preying on younger women. But I, I heard this from a pastor. He's now deceased. Uh, he was a, a man I looked up to. He said that it was not uncommon in his 40 to 50 years of pastoring to have young women make passes at him. Okay. This is, this is a well-known pastor, very respected in my city. And it was not uncommon. You know, for women to, you know, it got so bad for some pastors, they have to have somebody else in the office. All right. And um, and what I mean is when you're counseling women or younger women, just as a protocol, now pastors are starting to record these conversations just so nobody can say, you know, look, uh, this pastor did this or that. But this is very common, man. A lot of women, not only do they make passes at older men, okay, then the mother asks, do you want her? That is not, I mean, it's, 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 it's shocking to hear it, man, but it's not uncommon. I knew of a man in my city. I won't call his name. Um, you know, I used to, uh, I, I don't even want to talk about my, my relationship to the man, all right? Just for fear of, you know, I was never able to confirm if it was true, but he was going, and we call that going, with the daughter and the mother at the same time young woman was in a relationship with him and he was a stepfather. So the lady had to be about 16. You know, he was much older than me. I think he might be in his seventies now, but at the time, I mean, he was a, you know, big time businessman in the community did a lot of, um, you know, great things, but that really, and it was never prosecuted, but it was, it was a known thing that allegedly he was accused of this. And the mother, the mother knew it as wrong as that is. The mother knew it. It's not uncommon, man, for women to let you, you know, want to have their daughters. And then at the same time, and Corey makes the right decision. Like, you got to get, you got to get up out of there. Because anything happened, they're going to blame you. And this is not uncommon. And this is something that happens. I have heard Ro Alan Roger Curry, when he was telling me, he slept with a mother and a daughter in a threesome. Now, they were of age. But he told me. All right. Then when these things come about, the man is always in trouble and this is one of the reasons why i would say man i don't date um for the most part women that got kids especially women that got um adult or grown kids at all 19 20 21 no no because i already know we got this little silly competition between the mother and the daughter and then again you go it, it, it's, it's not gonna end well he did the right thing get up out of there what does a young woman do you know it, it, this is a man that is, and a lot of times you see it always in church too. Um, deacons, you know, men get beat up, talked about as predators. I'll talk about a situation that happened at the legendary Shiloh Baptist Church. I won't mention the pastor. Um, there was a pastor there where he was sleeping with the deacon's wife and pounding the daughter, right? They all knew about this. The deacon found out about it, came to church, he was crying. He said, This man destroyed his family and all this. The woman was, they took her side. Man, he was sleeping with both, they both knew it. The daughter was also of age, but they, they got rid of him. And it was all through the, the entire city. You know, he was a, uh, you know, he was a pastor there, uh, I will say, sometime after the Reverend Legendary William P. Cook. And that destroyed Shiloh Baptist Church for years, that scandal. It's right there in Oak Park. And um, 
one of the first churches in Sacramento established after slavery. It was first the Siloam Baptist Church. But I mean, you know, and, and, and these guys uh, are the ones that are completely victimized. It's going to be your fault. Nobody going to look at it. Well, you know, she put her butt on me. No, they look at the fact that you're supposed to get up out of there. If that woman starts doing that, you're supposed to get up out of there. You're not supposed to be engaging with them at all. That's what society's going to look at. Why you didn't get up out of there. I don't care if they underage or overage. All right. Because you're going to be to blame. And this is why you shouldn't be dealing with women that have daughters almost grown or grown or whatever age. I would just stay away from it altogether because of things happen like this. And a lot of you brothers have been through that experience. You've seen it. Stay away from it. Because it, all it takes is for somebody to, to d destroy your career like this and it's over. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shady Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Drunk. Put your fire, you do Celebrity Bell. We're out.